Hey everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and hey, I have for you guys an awesome episode of Sky Factory that I know you're all going to love, because in this episode, Quentin and I focus on building one of the coolest furnaces of all time. It sounds pretty dumb, you're like, Jerome, it's just a furnace, but no, this thing can actually cook multiple ingots at once, do a lot of different things like create ingot alloys so you can combine different metals, and just do some really fancy things. So you'll have to see what we do with that. We do our best to make it automated as well, so really, it's an all-around great episode. We get a really good functioning machine done in this one, and uh, I'm proud of it. But apart from that, I do want to thank you all for watching, and remember guys, if you enjoy this, be sure to click that like button, because it lets us know you guys want to see more, and then you're going to continue to like and enjoy Sky Factory. So be sure to do that, and also comment down below with what you want to see us do in future episodes, or if we missed anything this episode, let us know, because we're by no means Sky Factory experts. In fact, we're kind of learning as we go along. So be sure to help us out in that regard, and apart from that, most importantly of course, have an awesome day. Thank you, everybody. Did that do? Hey, guys, what's up? It's Quentin, aka Husky Mudkips, and I'm here with Jerome ASF. And what are we doing today, Jerome? Well, finding out that you've been seeking and taking all. Oh, what? I was gonna what? say taking went, all of our energy for your access thingy, and then I. It went. It went in there, didn't it? It's in the vacuum cleaner. Oh, but, oh wait. But I just found. So I'm, I'm fueling mine up. I forgot I was using it to charge my thingamajig. Oh. Nah, I'm gonna charge mine up all the way. But anyway, guys, welcome for the big episode, number 10. Number 10 of Minecraft Sky No, Fa not number, it's number. Number 10. Yeah, number 10. You, you know, you can just, if you don't believe me, Quinn, you can just check the WAT system. What? What? The WAT. What are you talking about? No, the WAT. The, the wireless access what? system. The WAT. What? The WAT. What? what? The what what are we doing? Okay. Yes, welcome back to episode number 10. Uh, it's exciting. 10 episodes, Jerome, of Sky Factory. That's so exciting. Let me just jump off this cliff for a second while we're back. That's literally, that's at least, because of <laughs> today, that's got to be <coughs> 31 days that this series has been going on. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's crazy. That's I can't think of anything else I've done for 31 days except for... 12 months of 20 years of my life. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, to celebrate 10 episodes of Sky Factory, could you guys show some support? Maybe leave a like on this super special episode? Yeah, let's try and crush out a strong amount of likes on this one, guys. More than usual to show your increased enthusiasm for this series. And this episode, we have a pretty cool thing we're going to do. We're going to build a smeltery. A smeltery, yeah, that's right. Can it's you smell what this episode is cooking? Can you smell what this episode is cooking? Yeah, I can actually. I can smell it. Huh. What? We uh -huh. got to get started with some stuff, Jerome. Do you know uh -huh. what we have to do? Oh, no, no. What we got to do? I mean, keep laughing uh, sarcastically at my jokes, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have to make something called grout. That's where we're starting off. To make grout, if you look in your... Uh, Sounds like a disease. Bar, uh, I think you're thinking of, yep, it's, I don't know. I actually don't know if it's a disease or not. It might be. That'd exactly. be scary. Well, to make grout, we need clay, sand, and gravel. Where do we get clay from? We have plenty of it. Oh, we that's right. It, that's right. We get it from mixing water with, uh, dust in the barrels, but I did a whole bunch of that. So we got a lot of clay. I, I see five clay right here. So we'll take the no, five clay. clay. Use, use the clay blocks, buddy. Wow, I don't think I can do that. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Are you sure you're supposed to use the clay blocks? Uh, you can. You can use either. I think I'm doing it backwards, though. I think the gravel has to be on the outside. Why are you filling up the whole thing? The, the grout's not like this, dude. What are you talking about? You're filling up, like, in a square shape. Grout's look at three the other, blocks. Look at the other thing. Oh, you're doing the weird way. I'm doing the other recipe. I can, am I doing it right? Yeah, you go. You just, had, you just made some grout, it looked like. No, I didn't. How do I do this? Why are you doing just it so... Try... Just try and do it the real way. Let me look. So oh, I did, did it we... backwards. You did it backwards? Okay. Yes. Sand is supposed to be there. Oh, yeah, okay. You see what I'm saying? I feel it. I'm uh, feeling Mr. Krabs. We need one more... One more gravel. Do we have right that? Right there. Boom. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Makes eight stacks, dude. Okay, so we're getting we got a ton of this grout stuff. Oh my gosh, we we're got a lot. It. We're in it to win it. I'm getting a lot of it. <laughs> I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff in here because I feel like we're just running out. But uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six stacks of grout. Whoa, Quentin, that's too much. That's too a much lot. For one man. 
And if you look at the, the things that grout can create, uh, we can smelt that to make seared brick. So here we go, Jerome. I'm going to give you three stacks, and oh, you can decide this? You can decide which furnaces you want to throw it in. I'm going to pick three myself as well. All right. Well, there we go. And we need this to build a smeltery, right? Yes, we need this to build a smeltery because we need to make seared brick. Uh, and to make seared brick, we basically just have to smelt that. So while that's smelting, um, I think we need to build... Oh, yeah, Quinn, we should probably explain one thing real quick. Real quick. Yeah, real quick. okay. We didn't really explain what a smeltery is or why we even want oh. one. Oh, yeah, wow. So a smeltery is something we can use to uh, easily basically do what we're doing in the furnace here, but a lot easier and a lot kind of more automated. We can automate it... Uh, we're going to do some simple automation, I think, this episode, but we can automate it so that uh, items will get automatically taken out of a chest or out of our ME system, put in the smell tree, and then get turned into blocks of whatever the metal is. So, uh, for example, what I think we should do, just because it's a smart idea because we don't really have too much of it, we could just make a bajillion iron, right? A, baj or Quinn, a bajillion is a lot. We could also make a bajillion gold because we still need to make a whole bunch of lucky blocks. Right? Oh, I like the a, sound of that. We got a lot of options. Um, so that's still cooking. One thing How much seared brick do we need, dude? Because we got all these cooking at once. I mean, we got plenty right now, right? But maybe we should make two hoppers. Are you, are you just picking them out? Yeah, I'm just taking them out. Okay. See how much we have. We're actually going to need quite a bit. Uh, I think we'll need at least two stacks worth okay so yeah we still need yeah. a little more time than on the waiting thing mm -hmm. no matter i'll just use my whack system and i'll throw it in there there we go i whack. used the whack system and put it in there what i keep saying whack for some reason i don't know why i just want to say whack it just yeah, feels like the 45 right 45 of them yeah that's uh that's a decent amount i'm making two hoppers right now because we're gonna need those for um for the automation aspect of it because what we're going to do is we're going to have items come out of a chest, go into the uh, the smeltery thingamajig, and then from there, they'll automatically go into another chest. Yeah, the smeltery chest. drain, uh, where you need the sear brick for all that. Yeah, we need we need seared everything. I'll, I'll make the smeltery drain, the smeltery drain now anyway. Might as well, right? Yeah, for sure. Make the smeltery drain. You're going to want to make the controller as well. Um, we're also going to need... I guess we're just going to need seared bricks, but... Uh, Whoa! The game just gave me Mighty Smelting the book. Oh, yeah, for making that, right? Yeah. Well, should I read it? Sure. Um, it's a, it's a long read. Oh, yeah, it's Table of Contents, and wow, yeah. okay, all the things I never wanted to read in my life. We're putting that away. <laughs> there we go. Uh, one thing you're also going to have to make is a seared faucet. All right, well, first, calm down, but I need to make the smeltery... Uh, Draining controller? Controller, yeah. Okay. Uh, we're also going to need to make a seared tank. Smeltery controller. Yeah. I, I think I'm about to get a whole bunch. Did you... Are you cooking through... Oh, here we go. They're in the bottom. All right. So we have the controller and we have the drain. Nice. And now looking at the list, controller, drain, faucet. We need a faucet. Yep. We need a tank. Let me see how we how we make that. Oh, sear. There's two different types of seared faucets. That's weird. Uh, make the one that's made with seared bricks, not the scorched brick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good to me. There we go. So we got that now. Um, uh, I'll make the tank right now. You're gonna make the I'm tank. Thinking. Okay. I'll make the basin then. Oh, good idea. Perfect. Tank. And. No. No, what? I accidentally hit I on something, and no. Oh. Welcome to Freeze City, Population Jerome. Oh, why does it do that now? It used to not do that. It used to not lag. Yeah, that's right. It used to work. It used to not break Minecraft. Uh, something tells me that's not even what's supposed to do break Minecraft. I think, in fact, I have a right mind to think that it, it wasn't supposed to break Minecraft when you click it. You know what? You might be right. Wow. How poopy. Pooperific. I've been lied to all this time. I, I feel slightly lied to. Not as much as you, I don't think. But a little bit. Man, I'm not love... too happy. Either way, there's nothing I love more than when my Minecraft freezes, though. For extended oh, yeah. periods Especially of time. When it freezes for, like, hours. Oh. And then you're just stuck sitting there, not knowing what to do. 
you know that's the worst yeah, there we go we're back hey we're back welcome to back city population jerome i don't know hey, we're back have you so, what What have you made so far uh i was i built everything on our initial secret top secret list except the basin okay well you build that basin what there i'm gonna go. do we're gonna come oh, over do i want this... a casting basin or a casting basin What's the difference? No, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I don't know. There's two different ones oh. listed there, and I just built one of them. So there we go. We got okay. everything we needed. I built everything that we were supposed to. All righty. So come over to this corner here. All right. Should I bring my, my, my stuff? Bring all of it, baby. All right. We got bring it that. all. And we got the faucet. Nice. And then we got... What was the other ones again? It was the faucet, the... The controller, the drain, the, drain. the that, that was it. Yeah, drain. And I made the tank. And controller. All nice. right, buddy. I'm coming. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to place down a 3x3 three three bottom square of seared bricks. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of this real quick. What we're going to do is we're going to place down some seared bricks like this. I think I might actually need some more, to be honest. Um, how many of the drains do you have? Uh, One. Okay. You should place Three. that. Um, actually, you can place it on top of this. Do we need more? Or? Nope. We're going to be fine with that. How many of the uh, the seared bricks do you have spared left over? Uh, 21. 21. Okay. Place the, uh, place the smell tree drain right here where I was bouncing. All right. Uh, any direction? Uh, facing out. You can, I think it, you don't have to place it like that because now it's facing up. That's perfect. No. Is that what I'm you sorry. wanted? Nope. Uh, Probably use a pickaxe. Pick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right. Oh, I have oh, I have the wax system. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna use my wax. What? What? <laughs> I have fun doing that. No, hey, you put I... it the wrong way. I was facing no, me. I put it the right way. It's supposed to be facing me. Oh, you wanted yeah. it out that way. Yeah. Okay. Put the faucet on that thing. Just simply right click with the faucet in your hand. There you go. We're going to need. I think we're gonna need some more of these seared bricks. Here, uh, oh, should I make some? Won't. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need to make a few. You can actually make them in your crafting yep. inventory. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Here's okay. five more. All right, perfect. We're probably gonna need more, aren't we? Uh, no, I don't think we should. Now I want you to place um, I want you to place the controller right here where I'm standing, facing right. you. Facing me. Here we go. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Now you gotta place. Oh, I have the seared tank on me. Place the tank right here. Oh, does, I does placed the wrong one. Facing? Oh, okay. <laughs> I placed the wrong one for some reason. There we go. Place this. And this should all be good. As you can see, if you right click on the smell tree controller, it opens up a GUI. Oh, yeah. Okay. What now, do I do with this basin? Do? Oh, you have to put that right in front of, this, of the faucet, like right here. Yep. There we go. So now what we have to do. We gotta come over and we gotta get ourselves some lava. So get yourself a bucket. Uh, I don't know how many of those we got. I'm gonna make some. Ooh. Yeah, make some more. Make two. Perfect. Uh, Remember, don't shift click. There we go. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Uh, Alright, give me two. Mabaka. Okay, we now made we it. go down. Get us some lava. These uh, ones, I guess. Out. Yeah, there we go. And actually, I think we're going to have enough right now. What we want to do is we want to click on the, the seared tank with this. Okay. And does this ever run out? or? Yeah, it does. So we have to keep refilling it. Uh, but it, it takes a while for it to run out. Now, Jerome. Uh, oh, it's already full. Where are you at? Oh, we're full? I just went and got more. Yeah, yeah we're full. Jeez, now, Jerome, okay. we got to make ourselves... Um, the iron gravel stuff. Like, turn the iron ore... Into iron gravel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hit I again. Oh, god dang it! Uh, you did it too? No! We double eyed! Oh, oh my gosh! The worst part is I don't even know if, like, my recording still works when I do that. I'm just yeah. sitting here in, like, free fall. Oh, oh my no. god, no. Ugh. The actual worst. We're the worst. We are the worst, Jerome. Me and you. Why game. do we always do this? Every time. It's like we have no choice. It's a part of our life. Our lifestyles. We were born to do it. 
Born to hit I. I, I hope people can actually hear this for some reason. Uh, they can just hear our suffering. Yeah. And see, like, nothing. I think it probably will be a black screen, if anything. Really? I think it would just be the same screen frozen that, like, we're on. I wonder. I wonder which it is. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to investigate afterwards. Investigate? Uh-huh. Oh, mine's out. Yep, mine just started up again. Perfecto. <laughs> what were we making? Oh, yeah, our iron ore into iron ore gravel. We can also turn the dust into stuff. Iron ore and the pulverized iron ore. Sure. Let's see. Iron. Uh, nah, I'll just use some of the broken iron ore. I'll do either, I guess. I'm just going to grab grab enough so that you can make um, stacks of them. Yeah, I just did right? 64. Uh, four stacks of 64, so I can literally just... Yeah. yeah. Just make four. I did more than that because okay. I also want to set us up with, uh, with a chest afterwards. But yeah, you just put it in there. Right click right. on that, shift click it in. There we go. Look it at only, this drone. It's only cooking 18 though. Well, that's the maximum you can cook for the height that it's at. I if we add more. more layers onto this, if we just add more seared bricks, like if if we just keep putting more on top, we could go up another level of, uh, of nine. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Do you have now, any seared bricks on Now, it? what if we use like not gravel? Like what if we put like... Like iron ore dust or just normal yeah, iron ore? Yeah, does that... It um, would do the same thing. Okay. How long until they're all cooked, by the way? Uh, you can see it on the left, that little red bar, it's slowly rising. It takes a little bit of time to heat up and whatnot. Oh, how much okay. fuel is being... Okay, no, we have a normal amount being used. Um, how many seared bricks do you have? Because we can probably add another level to this. Uh, I've only got one, but let me go check okay. our furnaces. I think oh, we they a should be more. good, huh? Yeah, we should have a ton more in there. Yep, 37 in that? that one. Yeah. While you're doing that, I'm going to make some chests because we can semi-automate this. Oh, we got a ton more, Quinn. We got three yeah. and a half stacks. Do we want to raise the height? Uh, yeah, for sure. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to turn a lot of these into, uh, you know, the brick brick stuff. Yeah. Basically, we just got to hop up top. Um, we should probably use something to get up there, I guess. Make it easier for you to hop up. But either way, we're basically just going to try to automate this so that we can constantly have things flowing in, making more and more, and flowing out. Oh, and well, we probably can't because this tank, I would have to cover it. That's fine. Oh. Yeah. Well, that was less dramatic than I thought. <laughs> you just got to place them all around so it's completely like a, a complete line. I don't know if it can go any higher. Did it work? Yeah, yeah. it worked. Got on next I just put more in. Oh, and now, you see how it says we have molten iron? Ingots 36? Yeah. Can you do something for me? Can you click on, right click on this casting, or on the faucet, sorry. On the faucet, yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Gotcha. Now watch after a second. Just wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for That's it. That's an it iron transform? block. Right click it. I got an iron block. Yeah. So oh, basically what so we're going to have cool. to do. Is I, make I, it higher? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I think we can go higher. A little bit oh, I fell, in the, I fell in the bin. Oh, Gwen, dude. You're help. not making blood in there. Help, help, Gwen, help. You're dying in there. You're help. making blood. Sorry, bud. You got to die. We need blood for our, our blood kill. sacrifices. Slash kill works. Yeah. Perfect. We could have just kept dying, Jerome. No, I was would have Oh shoot, I didn't get any actual water. That's lame. Plus, it would have stank up the iron. That's true. Okay, what I'm gonna do over here is we gotta go below this to actually um, make something kind of interesting. I'm gonna have to break a block like right here. Okay, what I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to make it so there's a hopper here below this thing i think it'll automatically oh shoot i'm gonna have to like be very careful doing this do you have any cobblestone on you wait a second uh, i raised the height of it again though for real and it actually worked yeah yeah oh my god that's ridiculous i like it so what i'm gonna do i'm coming down here down below because i'm trying to oh my gosh 
What are you I just need to you place these blocks. There? Here, do you want me to get more cobble for you? No, I, I got plenty, dude. <clears throat> I'm just trying to... There we go. I got set up. Okay. Place a... Chest in there. One of these days, we gotta do that thing to get a million cobble. Is there a way to directly connect uh, an access terminal to this cobblestone generator? I'm pretty sure. Alright, we're gonna have to do that one day. Oh my gosh, it actually works, dude. What, what it gets auto-put in there? Yup. No way, wait, Watch. wait. Uh, we just have to somehow make it automatically activate. I think we need a fluid duct for that. So we might have to move this stuff back. But if we were somehow able to signal this... Oh, shoot. I wonder... Can we use an autonomous we, activator? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I, my. We have plenty. I think we even ha might have a spare one or two. No way, dude. No, we don't have a spare one. Yeah, the but, iron the iron thingy works. We gotta make it. We gotta make an autonomous activator. Here, I'll just pick up this one. I think that's the only way we can continue this episode. For sure. Okay, so we're just gonna make it floating above. Uh, we could use a fluid duct, I believe, to make this work. But this will work fine as well. <laughs> Screw it, right? Why not? Yeah. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. Okay. Oh, I think we have to bring it one forward. Huh? I was gonna say it needs to be. Yeah, it needs to be up one, just cause it's gotta hit that. Yeah. Right on the face. Okay. Oh, it is working! No. It right clicks it. Can we choose how often it right clicks it? Because it looks like it keeps right clicking start, stop, start, stop. Yeah, it's, it's clicking too oh, it fast. It keeps stopping it? It keeps start stopping it. Well, so I mean, it, it keeps flowing, so that's all that matters. Yeah, right? I mean, like, it'll get the job done, I'm just saying, though. But, like, so, for I'm, maximum time. I don't think time? you can choose how often. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. But what we can do. Now, take this hopper, this other hopper, place a chest above here real quick. Take this other hopper, right click it like this, and if we start putting some stuff in here, look at that. And it goes, sh no way. It goes straight in. It's kind of hard to click on the thing, you're, but yeah. You're kidding me right now. It's just going to keep doing this. I'm not even joking. That is so... Oh, oh my god. So we god. just need to get... We, right now, we just need to turn as much of our stuff into um, into the, uh, the actual stuff we can put in that chest. And we're good. <laughs> oh, I hit I again! Don't type iron! I would never. I'm going to uh, find it the hard way. Oh, I'm the is worst. Is that all we want, though, is iron? Or do we want something else? I mean, you could do other stuff as well, for sure. Like just give it a try. All right. I what typed you, I, I for oh. iron, but I didn't put my thingy there. That way, you know, I wouldn't get pooped on. I mean, if you want to do gold, that's another possibility. They don't react. Um, sometimes metals do react in there. So if you combine, I think it's aluminum and copper, you make aluminum brass, I believe. I might be incorrect about that. But the basic idea is that if you combine them, it does stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. So you can make some really weird ores. Yeah, there's a bunch of different ones you can make, um, but we don't really want to worry about that too much right now. We just want to like turn all our stuff into blocks. Why not, right? Then we have the actual resources we need. Yeah. And it's automated, so that's cool. Wow, this thing's moving quick. Oh, yes, I'm back. We have oh. 10 blocks. Good, we have 10 full blocks of iron now, so we're... Already. Think about how quick that is. That's ridiculous. Even though it's already, even if it's doing that silly thing where it like clicks and clicks, you know? Quinn, you've blocks. created a monster with this, you know that, right? <laughs> and if we were to get ourselves a uh, precision export bus, we could actually make it so that things automatically got imported into here. Imported into where? Well, oh, exported like... into the machine. Into the smeltery, rather. How would we. So we could have like all yeah. this, and then once it's done getting the ores, it. Actually, we need a bunch of different stuff. Cause I was going to say, we need... Things. I don't even know if they have it, but do they have like an automatic crafter so we can use the broken ores for they the ingots? They do. It's called a molecular assembly chamber, and it's pretty hard to put together. And to be honest, it really doesn't do enough for how hard it is to uh, put together. So that's something we'd have to do like at a later, like, yeah. later episode. Jeez. Yeah. Wait, can you just say the word again? That was so intense. The molecular assembly chamber, I think. I just know it's called the Mac. Ah, uh, I see what you Like, we have the what? The we what? got the Mac. Oh, yeah. 
if if you hop in here, like I said before, you might hear me taking damage. That's because we're putting blood in here. We can actually make something called pig iron. Oh wait, this is an actual. When you were saying I was putting blood in there, you were serious. I was being entirely serious. And if if you come in here and you right click on the uh, controller from behind, you can actually see how much we have in there. Yeah, forty. Oh my god, we do have blood in there. What the hell? What do we do with the blood? Uh, we can cook it with other stuff to make pig iron and whatnot. Need a TP what does pig or something. iron do? Uh, it's used to build certain things. I'm unsure exactly what. I haven't delved too much into it. But I like the smeltery stuff. It's a lot of fun. That's so weird. Now I wonder, does this qualify for any sort of uh, thingy? Like, I don't know. Automate? Achievement? Let's see. Yeah. Uh... Um, Let's start off with this one. Uh, no, nah, it's not a tier one of any kind that I can tell. Lame. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything, really. Uh, That's a shame. How is there no, like, Tinker's Construct thing? Make an unbreakable is... Tinker's Construct pickaxe, but, like, what is that? Like, no. That's something we can do later with a tool station and a crafting station. Wait. There's a tier three one acquired. Increase cobblestone production to faster than 10,000 cobble per second. What? My gosh. How would we do that? How is that even a thing? That seems way excessive. Automatically craft an octuple compressed cobblestone in less than one hour? What does that even mean? I don't know, but it sounds intense. Um, oh my gosh. Through, yeah, nothing really here. Huh. Yeah, nothing here. Huh. Oh, we have 19 blocks. Straight oh, well. Up. well, at least it was a still a cool addition. It was definitely a necessary one as well. So. Oh, for sure. Well, what do you think? I think it's about time to wrap this video up. How's that sound? Alrighty, buddy. Sounds good to me. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. And, of course, stay tuned for more awesome videos in the near future from Quentin and I because we have a lot more coming. But remember, guys, be sure to leave a like, not only because it's episode 10, but also because it lets us know you guys like what we're doing. And to be honest with you guys, this takes a lot of time and effort to do this series. So we want to know that what we're doing is really appreciated by you guys and that we should keep on doing it. And apart from that, everybody, stay tuned for more in the future. Be sure to check out Quentin's channel as well. And, of course, if we missed anything, comment down below with what we missed. We really appreciate any help we can get because we're not experts at at this mod but we are learning as we go along so thank you yep thank you guys very much for watching love y'all and we'll see you in the next one bye 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 bye, bye.